So, we classify things all the time. Uh, we classify music, there's rock, hard rock, punk rock, soft rock, yacht rock, there's rap, hip hop, reggae, uh, all types of different types of genres of music. Uh, we classify people, there are tall people, there are short people, there are big people, uh, there are slim people, there are people with a lot of hair, there are people with not a lot of hair, um, people that are good at math, people that work hard, uh, there are people that are athletic, uh, but as we are all unique, just remember, we're all created equally. Uh, we also uh, classify cats, uh, there's tigers, lions, house cats, feral cats, uh, ligers. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to classify one shape and that is called the triangle. So we're going to classify a triangle into a few different types of triangles. So let's get at it. All right, so we're going to classify a triangle based off of two things, based off angles and based off sides. So let's think about a triangle and different types of angles. So if I drew this triangle right here and this right here and this, look at all of all three of these angles they all look like they're less than 90 degrees so this type of triangle would be an acute triangle so all angles are acute another classification of a triangle based off angles is if the triangle had exactly one right angle so this would be a right triangle. Here's a fun fact. A triangle can't have more than one right angle because if you had more than one right angle, uh, all the angles would add up to be more than 180 degrees and that would violate the triangle sum theorem. Okay, all right, so here is another type of triangle based off its angles. So look at this one angle. What kind of angle is that? It's pretty wide. It's more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So this type of triangle is an obtuse triangle because it has one angle that is greater than 90 degrees, uh, but less than 180. Also, this one can't have more than one obtuse angle. Think about it. If you had a 100 degree angle and a 91 degree angle, that would be 100 and 91 degrees that's that violates the triangle sum theorem so one of two angle one right angle and all three angles are acute to be an acute triangle and then the last type of triangle based off of its angles is the special one where all three angles are congruent so here's how you show that they're congruent. This little arc right here says that this angle is the same measure as this angle and is the same measure as this angle. So this type of triangle, it's a nice one to say, is an equiangular triangle. So equiangular triangle. So these are the four types of triangles based off of its angles. All three angles are acute, so it's an acute triangle. One right angle, so it's a right triangle. One obtuse angle, so it's an obtuse triangle. All three angles are exactly the same measure. All three angles are congruent, so it's an equiangular triangle. Okay, the second way to classify a triangle is based off of its sides. So let's say that we have a triangle that's this, this, and one side that's longer than the other. So no sides are the same measure. So if I put one tick mark, two tick marks, and three tick marks, this means that no other side is congruent to this side, this side isn't congruent to this side, they all have three unique measures. This type of triangle is called a scalene triangle. Okay, 
triangle. Scaling triangle, all three sides are uniquely measured. Okay, the next type of triangle is when two sides are congruent. So if I put one tick mark here and I put one tick mark here, that means that these two sides are congruent to each other. So this side would be five, this side would be five. This side could be any other number you want. This type of triangle is called an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Two sides are congruent, and one side is isolated from the other two sides. Okay? And the third type of triangle is this type where all three sides are congruent. So one tick mark, two tick marks, three tick marks. So this side is the same measure as this side and the same measure as this side. Or I could put two tick marks, two, two. So then equally number of tick marks. So if this side is five, then this side is five. So this side has to be also five. So this type of triangle where all the sides are congruent is called an equi lateral triangle where all three sides are congruent so make sure that you have these types of triangles in your notebooks make sure you highlight these three types so let's highlight this that that and that let's get our triangles based off of its angles highlight Okay, make sure that you can differentiate between these different types of triangles. Scalene, no sides are congruent. Isosceles, two sides. Um, equilateral, all three sides are congruent. All right, so let's try to classify some of these triangles. Let's put all this new information into practice. So classify the triangles based off of their angles and their sides. So let's look at these angles. So let's start off with angles. It looks like all of these angles appear to be acute. So this is an acute. And there aren't any tick marks here. So we can't assume that any sides are congruent to any other sides. So this would be an acute scalene triangle. Let's look at this triangle. Okay, so if you want to press pause, and do this on your own and then unpause it and see if we get the same answers then do that okay so press pause and then once you're done unpause okay so here are the answers so look this one all of the angles are congruent there are arcs so this would be an equi angular all the sides are congruent so this would be also equi lateral triangle it's just a fun fact if a triangle is equilateral it's automatically equiangular or if a triangle is equiangular then it's automatically equilateral okay so that that's only true for triangles uh, let's look at this one uh, this has let's look at the angles first it looks like all the angles are less than 90 degrees so this would be an acute and we have one tick mark and one tick mark, so two sides are congruent. Acute isosceles triangle. All right, let's look at this one right here. And let's make sure that the camera is focused. Uh, so this one looks like all the, oh, not all the sides are acute. We have this little square right here, these two sides are perpendicular make a 90 degree angle so this would be a right and we have one tick mark and one tick mark isosceles triangle all right and then this last one on on this page look at this angle this one is pretty wide so this one is an obtuse no tick marks, no tick marks, so that would be scalene triangle. All right, so let's do 
a couple more examples but instead of these symbols with arcs and tick marks uh let's actually look at some numbers so let's look at this so based off its angles all are 60 degrees so that all of them are congruent so that would be equi angular and as we said earlier it's equiangular it's also equilateral so all the sides are 12.1 equiangular equilateral equilateral triangle so make sure you know how to say these make sure you know how to spell them okay let's look at this one. Oh, again press pause do this on your own and then see if if your answers are the same as mine and then unpause Okay, so let's look at all the angles. This is 26, this is 128, this is 26. So this is obtuse. And 2.5, 2.5, 4.5. .5. So these sides, we have two sides that are congruent. Obtuse isosceles triangle. And this one. We have one 90 degree angle, so this is a right. And 4.1, 2.1, 4.6. So no sides are congruent, so this will be a right scalene triangle. And the last one, we have uh, 46, 59, and 75. All those angles are less than 90 degrees. So this would be an acute, and then 5.2, 3.9, 4.6, alene triangle. And that's it. So uh, just one hint, I, don't, I didn't have an example on this, but there might be an example where they only show two angles, okay? Before making your conclusion on what type of triangle it is based off its angles, make sure to always find that third angle so make sure you always know the measure the measures of all the angles before classifying it based off of its angles but yeah that's it so make sure you know the different types of triangles based off of its sides and based off of its angles all right